Hi Keith, um, just a, a review on our game versus Cove last night. Um, four 0 win, um, deserved. Um, I thought we played very well at times. Again, it, it, it's like I, I, like I've said it a lot, but we've been playing well at times. We've been playing well at times during the season, but things just haven't been clicking together. But after the Galway game last week, in the second half especially, I just was saying to myself like that things are gelling a bit. Know with the team, and they can see that last night. Um, like we scored early, we got going early, which was good as well. Um, and then after we scored, there was a kind of a twenty-minute spell in the first half. There were like cover threatening, um, but we just you know we took the barrage of attack that was coming at us, which was good. And we were grand after that. And then the start of the second half, then City dominated the second half. Um, quick goals. Um, I just thought we moved the ball better. We were fitter than them. We were faster than Cove, um, and they kind of like the, the, the score justified the result. Um, I thought Alec Byrne in the central midfield last night was outstanding. He was just unbelievable. He covered every bit of ground last night, and Gordon Walker right back was outstanding. Um, it's great to um, it's great to see things coming together. Um, hopefully, like we'll get a bit of a run together and just have a respectable finish to the season. Um, like two wins on the trot, five games unbeaten. <clears throat> so it's it, it's just it's great to get a run. Um, and uh, happy days. And and as we say in in Cork this morning, our city is green. Thanks, Keith. Uh, full time. Uh, Pats two, Blues one. Uh. The good run comes to an end, but it's hard to be too disappointed, really. Like, you know, we I, I don't think this will be uh, the end of our run. I think, you know, we've got games coming up that we can win, and uh, we still gave a good account of ourselves in the second half, I feel. Um, first half, I don't think was as good as we could have played. Um, I felt like in the second half, you know, kind of... Uh, we were a bit unfortunate to concede. I felt like we played a lot better in the second half, but uh, on the balance of play as over the whole game, it was probably a fair result. Uh, unfortunately, overshadowed by um unfortunate incident towards the end. Uh, I hope Lee Desmond is okay. I've been reading updates, and it seems like he's going to be fine. So as long as that much is cleared up, I suppose that's really all um, we can hope for at this stage. Um. I think it's Longford next, um, Longford at home, and that'll be a game we'll be certainly looking to win. And if we can do that, then, you know, this will remain a blip and I won't have to, uh, or we won't have to um, worry too much about it. How's it going, lads? Um, I've just been asked to do a quick match reaction to the Pat Warford game. Um, I'm only recording this minutes after the full-time whistle and... Um, before I go into the game, first of all, I'd just like to, you know, wish Desmond a speedy recovery. Um, for anyone that didn't hear about it, I'm sure more information will come out. Um, the stream cut for me, actually, but it looked like he had a, a serious injury in the last minute of the game. So, um, hopefully he's okay and, you know, I'll definitely be uh, praying for him over the next few days. So, hopefully... Um, he can make a speedy recovery, like I said. Um, you know, we don't want to see that in football. So, going into the game, you know, the result is the second most important thing that happened uh, in the game. But Pats got a 2-1 win. They were um, very, very good throughout the game, I thought. Waterford caused a lot of problems on the counter-attack. They were, they were good. Um, your man, Junior. He's a good player on the ball when it comes to off the ball. Maybe he doesn't track back uh, too well, but I'm obviously doing a Pats reaction, so I'll focus on Pats a bit more. I think, you know, we were we were good. Um, Mike Smith obviously opened the scoring for Pats, and then he had to go off injured um, just after. So that obviously is another injury for Pats. We have a lot of injuries, and, you know, I wouldn't really want to think about Desmond at the minute, but, you know a lot of injuries um so that's that's that anyway and then you go into the game a bit more pats then went two nil up with Nahum melvin lambert's going ahead her and um, that's two goals in two games for Nahum melvin lambert so that's you know good for his confidence i guess and um, 
good ball by in uh, in Birmingham to set up the Nahum Melvin Lambert goal, and then Warford got a penalty. Um, I think it probably was a penalty, taking Pat's head off, and um, you know converted by Junior. That really brought Warford back into the game. Then you know last twenty thirty minutes, Pat's were giving the ball away in cheap areas, and um, Waterford failed to capitalise in the last minute. There was a, a penalty shout for Waterford. Paddy Barrett apparently um, made contact with a Waterford player in the box. So I guess, you know, I haven't seen it back. It could be, but for me, from where the camera was, it's hard to tell. But yeah, um, overall, you know, Pats uh, were good. We have a very, very bare squad going into uh, Finn Harps, but like I said, you know, the main thing is that Lee Desmond is okay and he makes a quick recovery because from what I've heard it was a, a very very scary moment for everyone that saw it in the ground so um, all wishes go out to him see you guys hey guys just finished at the Carlisle grounds in Bray Bray Wanderers won 3 to United Neil in the SSE Air Tracy League First Division uh, the game was decided uh, would you believe at the last minute uh, kick of the ball uh, from the penalty spot um, I'm not sure, I think it was Richie O'Farrell was uh, a judge of being fouled and uh, upset Connor Clifford and he duly obliged putting the ball into the into the tree to United Net. Um, Bray were, were, were a little bit uh, the better side uh, overall in 90 minutes and probably deserved to win the game uh, but I have to say three to United are such a dogger team and you know what, they play really, really good football at times. And uh, it's a credit to Tommy Barrett. Um, I think last week in one of the, in one of the videos, uh, he was mentioned as going to be um, manager of the year. Absolutely agree with that. Um, top, top manager. And he has that side. After only being after only being uh, set up, what, a couple of days before the league season started? Absolutely brilliant. And Treaty are still in the about the playoff. They'll definitely get a playoff spot, without a doubt. Um, really, really dogged sides, uh, big lads, some of them. Um, but uh, Bray go on. That's uh, nine unbeaten. Uh, I think eight or nine unbe unbeaten. So uh, uh, they needed that win tonight because the next three games are going to be quite tough. Uh, Shelbourne, who are losing two 0 I think to Galway at the moment. Uh, UCD and Galway um, away. So uh, three tough games uh, coming up for Bray. So uh, they needed those three points tonight to uh, to to cement again their spot in in, in the playoffs. So um, yeah, happy happy Wanderers fan here. It looked like it was going to be a draw for large periods of the game. Bray just couldn't put the ball in the net. They sometimes they tried to walk it in, but uh, they finally got there with what I must say was a stonewall penalty. And um, if you watch it back, um, it was a definite penalty. Bray really should have had one in the first half as well. Um, when Brandon Cavanaugh was uh, upended in the box. But uh, yeah, uh, finished here at Carlisle. Uh, Bray Wanderers won, 3 to United Neil. Final score from Bishop Gip this evening from Hearts 3 Longford. No, very professional performance for Hearts this evening. Massive, massive result at the bottom of the table. But overall, Hearts deserved to three points. Uh, first goal by Jordan Musto since he came over from England. It's just a sort of massive deflection by the clock. He played really well. Second goal by Ryan Rainey, a screamer from the edge of the box after a corner kick was headed out to him. And then the third goal at the late in the second half by Sean Boyd. Fought overall professional performance by Harps this evening. Only thing that let him down was the stupid bookings by a few players and, and obviously Ollie Horan getting themselves stupid sent off for no reason at all. Massive two results uh, the past two games. Beating Slade on the show grounds and beating Longford. M massive game now coming up against some packs now next week and and also the Derry City now in the cup in two weeks. Uh, when we're above now Waterford with a game in hand, it's going to be a nip and tuck between ourselves at the end of the season. But I thought overall Harps really deserved the performance and the result tonight. Ryan Colin had a great game, uh, first full games for a few for a few weeks now. Mark Coyle, he came in for him, and Barry McNamee thought he was man of match this evening, him and Siddiqui play earlier skins and I thought overall hearts deserved the three points. 
Uh, bring on next to Pats now, next Friday night won't be an easy game, but I'm kind of getting more confidence back now in ourselves after the poor run we've been on. And I'm looking forward now to next weekend. As I say all the time, up the hearts. Thank <laughs> you.